Hey there, cats and kittens. I am what I am, and that's all that I am. Speaking of famous sailors, this week's comic book of the week is Popeye number one, an IDW comic. It's written by Roger Langridge with both cover and interior art by Bruce Ozella. Popeye was first created by King Features in 1929. He debuted in Thimble Theater. Now at first he was supporting character, but over time became a breakout star and he's well known all over the world in numerous licensed products, including books, toys, and all types of clothing. Now, in this story, we find that Popeye, as well as the original Oil family, you guys of course know all of Oil, but we must also include her brother, Castor Oil. Now, Castor Oil has a plan. They have a magical creature, Eugene the Magical Jeep. He hears that there's an island of Jeeps. So the plan is to take Eugene, find him a mate, and then sell some of the litter. He convinces Olive Oil, who convinces Popeye. Popeye reluctantly agrees to this, and they must fight Bluto, also known as Brutus in the cartoons. His henchmen, as well as numerous obstacles that he throws in Popeye's way. Popeye uses his super strength and invulnerability, and this is without having to use spinach to overcome these obstacles, as well as his great enemy, the Sea Hag. This book wonderfully creates the 1929 era, as well as the distinctive speech patterns of Popeye and company. Now, be aware that olive oil, unlike the cartoons, is no damsel in distress. She's aggressive and she is even reckless. So Popeye often has to pull her out of fire for situations that she kind of helps create. The book is wonderfully drawn in the period style. The writing is fun and wonderfully evocative of the era. And it's just funny and exciting at the same time. And I'm looking forward to getting future issues. IDW has done a wonderful job with this. All right, guys. Well, that's all for now. I look forward to talking to you very soon. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and pin me to your homepage. I hope you're having an amazing day, and I look forward to talking to you very soon. Bye.